Our big story has a bit of a twist tonight, and think about this with me for a minute. When was the last time you saw an attack ad focused on Betsy Johnson? Yeah, me either. I'm not sure any are actually running on TV right now. That's a bad sign for her campaign. It means the other two don't even consider her enough of a threat to spend money on. Betsy now, Johnson it's not always been that way. I found this ad on YouTube. It was running about three weeks ago. And this one was running about a month before that, or a month ago, a week before that. Things change quickly, though, and I could not find anything currently running that attacks Betsy Johnson. In case you're new to the area, Johnson is a longtime Oregon lawmaker, a Democrat who sometimes voted with Republicans. She quit the legislature to run for governor and quit the Democratic Party as well. She's running as an unaffiliated candidate. I began the process of fact-checking both of those ads, but then it occurred to me, there's not really that much point doing that because the ads aren't running. Instead, I think our time will be better spent talking about what it means that there are no ads running against Johnson. It means her campaign's in real trouble. Polling has found her campaign losing steam in mid-August, and it's dropped even more in October. Which is not to say she's totally out of the race. She's not. And either way, she is still a powerful force, taking votes away from maybe both candidates? But the pundits seem to think she's stealing more from the Democrat, Tina Kotek. And that's made it a super tight race between Kotek and the Republican, Christine Drazen. Here's political scientist Jim Moore from Pacific University. And you can also make the assumption that the reason it's very tight is because Betsy Johnson is a strong candidate in this race. She's there. She's kind of upended the usual calculus we would make of registered Democrats, far outnumbering registered Republicans, and the way un unaffiliated voters would vote. Betsy Johnson has thrown a monkey wrench in all of those calculations. That's why it's close. And clearly she's speaking to concerns that people have, even with her lower poll numbers, she still has significant numbers of people that are going to vote for her. Absolutely. You know, she's showing that she's going to get maybe about 20 percent of the vote. We'll see if that that continues to hold up. Uh, but she could still win this. I mean, we're, we're just a few weeks out. She could turn it around if one of the others has a stumble and something happens there. She could turn it around. It's happened in the past, uh, but it's it's less and less likely. Yes. And the lack of attack ads aimed at her speaks volumes, at least at this moment.